Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share a baigan choka recipe with you all. And a few people have asked for this recipe and I'm finally going to do it. This is a very simple breakfast meal in Trinidad. Um, it's really popular for when people are fasting. It's an easy meal to put together. And this is essentially the same thing as baba ganoush in those mi Middle Eastern countries. Both are prepared similar to each other. So if you guys want to see how I do this quick and easy baigan joka, then keep watching. So I have two baiguns here, two large baiguns. This was all I could find. And the other name for this is melangin or eggplant. I have one whole head of garlic or about 10 cloves, one hot pepper, an onion sliced thinly or julienne or however you want to slice it. You can even cut it into small cubes as well. I have some chili peppers or we call these bird peppers in Trinidad and this is perfect for baigan chuka. You'll also need a wire rack. To put this onto your stove so that the baiguns will get a direct flame because you don't want to put this directly on your stove because as soon as it starts cooking and it gets soggy it's just gonna break apart on on top of your stove so the wire rack kind of holds it together and you'll also need some oil some canola or vegetable or olive oil to chunky the baigun so what i'm gonna do is make some slits and first you want to wash it really well. Just make some good size slits because we're going to stick the bird peppers and the garlic in there. Make sure that it's sliced big enough that you could stick the garlic in. And these are gonna roast while the bacon is roasting and it's gonna infuse into the flesh inside of the bacon. So now I'm going to go ahead and just place my bagons onto the rack and onto the direct flame. And you want to let it roast for about 15 minutes on each side. As soon as you see the skin start shriveling up, it starts to get really dark and kind of black. Then you'll want to turn it and it'll get really soft as well. That's when you'll know that it's, get, that it's cooking on the inside. So I'm just going to leave these to cook and I will come back and show you what it looks like when I turn it over. So it's been 15 minutes and I'm going to just flip it over now. See how soft it's gotten? That's because the bygone is cooking on the inside. So now you just want to leave this for another 15 minutes and then we can turn it off. So now that the bygone has um, nearly finished cooking, I'm going to put my pepper on a piece of foil and just wrap it up a little and I'm just going to put it right here so that it can roast as well. And this doesn't take long, it'll just take a couple minutes, about 5 to 10 minutes. So I just took the baigan off the stove. I'm going to do one at a time. So you want to just slit down the center. Separate it. And there's going to be a lot of steam so you have to be careful. So now I'm going to scoop all the flesh out and put it into a bowl. And you'll also see the garlic and the pepper in there. All that's going to go into the bowl as well. I 
I'm trying not to get any of the black skin. You want to discard the skin as well. I'm going to do the same with this bygone. So this is all the flesh I got from those two bygones and I'm just going to take my potato masher or you can also use anything that like a fork or something just to mash the peppers and the garlic into the flesh of the bygone. It's going to be very soft so it's going to mash very quickly. And if you get some little pieces of burnt skin, you can also just pick it out. Now you want to add a little bit of salt. Now I'm also going to take that roasted pepper and mash it in there as well. And the chilies are already hot so if you don't want to add any additional peppers that's fine. Now you can add your onions and we're going to chunky this with some hot oil. Chunking just means frying. So we're going to just heat the oil up to maximum temperature and then we're going to just pour it all over the onions just to fry it along with the bygone. And a lot of people they don't like when the onions are raw. So what you can do is you can soak it in some cold water for about 10 minutes just to get the really um, strong flavor out. Or you can also saute it with the hot oil that will be thrown in there. So it's up to you. I like to eat my onions crunchy. And I like the strong taste. So I personally don't do that. But you can also do it if you want. So I'm just going to leave the onions on top for now. So that when I pour the oil in there it's going to really fry up a little. And then I'll mix it. So I'm going to heat up about one and a half tablespoons of oil and I will throw it in there when it's really hot. So the oil has gotten to the temperature where it's smoking so I'm just going to pour it in there. Now you just want to mix in everything. And that's it, you're done. So as you can see, the bygone sugar is very simple to make. It doesn't take that much time. The only time that that is really um, taken up is when you have to roast the bygones. But preparing it is not that difficult. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to make the roti now. And sada roti is most traditionally eaten with bygone choker so that's what I'm going to be eating mine with so I'm going to make the roti and I'll show you what it looks like with the bygone choker
So my Saturday has finished and I'm about to eat my bygone choka and I'm so excited. But <clears throat> I just wanted to tell you guys thanks for stopping by at my video and I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel to see all the latest videos. And also I will have the link to the Sadaruti in the info above because I did the video for this previously. And if you don't want to eat this with Sadaruti, you can have it with fry bake. Some people eat it with bread, but I'm not a fan of that. But I love it with Sadaruti. You can also have it with paratha as well. I will link that in the info above. And if you guys enjoy this video, let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!